Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at NECA's take on a monster movie classic, King Kong. And right out of the gate, it is a very well sculpted figure. It comes with two heads, and while the first head is kind of accurate to the 1930s, I think it was, movie, it does look a little derpy. And yeah, like, let's just get in and look at this face. I mean, that is accurate for the movie, but it's not particularly terrifying or impressive. It does suit the body, which is so meticulously done. I mean, we've got some great sculpting on the fur. Look how well done the hands are. He's got battle scars on the chest. He's a really nicely looking figure. Oh, well, nicely done figure. Nice looking figure. But, ah, uh, it's just that head. As well done as it is, and as much as it captures the spirit, doesn't look that great on a figure. But, luckily, we get an extra head, which we'll look at, which is much better. He doesn't have a closed mouth head, which a lot of people are sad about, me too, but when you see him in person, it kind of makes sense, because he is this big, ferocious looking thing, and when I say big, like, oh, I don't have a ruler with me, so I can't give you his exact height in inches, but he big. He is a sturdy guy, not as big as Kong should be compared to other figures, but big enough to pose them with. Who do I have at hand? Uh, oh, he does stand well. He's got nicely splayed feet, but I have posed his legs in a weird way that are giving him all sorts of difficulty standing. Uh, come on, Kong. No, that's great. Alright, so they can see Jason's next to him, and Jason is not big. He is dwarfed by the guy. Again, Kong should be, I think he's 10 meters tall, or 18 feet, so he should be way bigger, like, easily twice Jason's size, but he's still big, he's still powerful looking, so, you know, he gets a pass from me. They're not trying to make him completely accurate to the on-screen height. But, yeah, so, sculpt-wise, that's good, size-wise, not perfect, but, you know, they weren't aiming for that, so won't hold it against them too much. Articulation-wise... He has a bicep swivel, like he's well articulated, so you can get pretty much 90 degrees out of the arm. Great bicep swivel that gives you a good 360. Double jointed elbow, so you can get more than 90 out of the big guy. His arms are long, like an ape's should be as well, so that's pleasing about the proportions. So you can actually get him into the uh, classic four knuckle pose quite easily, actually. So, let's move that in. Yeah, so you can have him loping about, like King Kong should do. So articulation-wise, I have no issues. He's got the diaphragm joint, the leg. He doesn't really have a proper thigh swivel, but it comes out like that, so you can get your Kong do the splits. I don't like that the joint isn't textured, but again, they couldn't really do that. And the ankles, I don't want to stress it. And they have, like, this hinge here, which indicates to me that they should move down and come forward, but when you try it, it feels like you're straining and I don't want to risk breaking him, so I'm going to say it's not articulated, and if it is, it's been done poorly. But you do get a good ankle pivot from him. And double jointed knees, which... Ugh, there you go. So more than 90. So yeah, he's very well articulated, particularly for a NECA figure, but the NECA have been improving this entire year in terms of their articulation, and maybe all round, I think. I'm very impressed with NECA. I might do a video about ranking the uh, toy companies, or action figure companies, this year, and NECA is going to do well on that list because they have been knocking it out of the park with a lot of releases. Yeah, I quite like him. He's very simple. In terms of accessories, he only comes with the extra head and some extra hands, but, you know, ugh, he could come, I guess, with, you know, the young woman to hold into his hands, or a model skyscraper, or... I don't know, biplanes to swat out of the sky, a club or something. But I guess they're going for simple, and he's not too expensive if you get him for a bargain. Like, not even a bargain. On websites, he's reasonably priced, reasonably priced but from Forbidden Planet, they're trying to charge like £40 for him, which is extortionate. Do not get him from there. He's available online in a multitude of places, so yeah, don't shop there. Otherwise, he's good value. I guess we'll dive into the pictures, show his alternate hands and alternate face, and then we'll wrap this up. One sec. <laughs> and 
And there you have it folks, NECA's King Kong. Another example of a very simple figure executed to perfection. He's a bit bigger than the average figure, and the price is accordingly scaled up to like, I think £25 is the cheapest you'll find him, or that's probably like $25 in the US. So is he worth it? Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this guy, and he's versatile. I mean, he's obviously Kong if you've got the 1930s face on, and if you've got this pissed off face, he's either pissed off Kong, or he's just a huge pissed off gorilla that's going to look phenomenal posing with any other figure. I mean, if you've got a Conan the Barbarian figure, this could be an eight man for him to battle. Uh, he just fits in dynamically. If you've got a Kazar figure, Kazar? Kazar? How do you pronounce his name? I know, the Jungle Dude from Marvel Comics, or Tarzan, I guess is probably more iconic Jungle Dude. If you have figures of them, this is something you can pose them fighting, and it's gonna look great. He looks like a really high-end figure in terms of sculpt, so I'd say he's definitely worth it. Uh, hmm, Accessories-wise, a bit basic, as I've said, but not enough that I'm gonna knock him down. I think this is perfect value for money. I'm gonna give it a strong recommendation, because I was on the fence for a while, then I picked him up, and I have no regrets. He's gonna be appearing in Hero House in some capacity, whether it'll be his Kong or just a pissed-off gorilla. We'll see down the line. All right, uh... Yeah, 5 out of 5. If you enjoyed this, then we have plenty of more reviews that are updated very regularly. We have The Wreckers, we have Hero House, we have Figure Fights, and yeah, plenty of good, con uh, good content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. All the best. Bye.